Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing linear inequalities and this is a lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching part 4. In this lecture, we are going to discuss today uh, about graphical solutions of any equations, linear inequalities. So, let me uh, start today about this uh, lecture and uh, that will be graphical solutions. So, topic is nothing else but graphical solutions. So, graphical solution. Graphical solutions <coughs> of inequality. Right now. So, uh, there is a question. So we have given the background and concept in lecture 1. So, now this is a time to solve questions and we are going to solve exercise 6.2. So, from exercise 6.2. The first question is given here that uh, solve the following inequalities graphically. This is a question. We are written that solve the following solve the following inequalities graphically inequalities graphically graphically in two dimensional plane in two dimensional plane two dimensional plane right so the first question is here that is given the first very first question is uh, given like x plus y is less than 5 x plus y is less than 5 so what you have to do is uh, you can make a table and this table will be like some values are here uh, maximum three values can be taken and in that uh, there will be this is a table in this table i can take this one is x plus y is less than 5 so it will be uh, for x and y it I, I can take here let me write this question here first okay. so question is uh, x plus y is less than 5. This is the question. So, I can make table for it x, y. If uh, for the question for uh, writing a solution, you need to take x plus y is equal to 5. And the graph will be accordingly. So, for if I write here y is equal to 5 minus x, put x is equal to 0, y is 5. And when y is equal to 0, x is 5. Any other value can be taken arbitrarily. At least two value to be taken. So, if x is 2, y is 3. If x is 3, y is 2, like that. So, these are few values. Now, we have to plot the graph of the function. So, all these are in positive quadrants. So, we can draw a graph of first quadrant only. Here, uh, this is, I can make this one as y. This is x, isn't it? And uh, this one is y. So that will be x axis and y axis. This is y and this is x axis. That will be origin. x0, y5, say like this x0, y5. x5, y0, like this. So here a line will be line can be drawn like um, I can draw a line like passing from 5 to 0 and 0 5 this is a line in fact no? so this is a line that is passing from x5 y0 right that will be a line that is passing from 0, 5 and 5, 0. Uh, similarly here I can write the values are like here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Similarly there is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 
putting the value uh, 0, 5 and 5, 0, these are two points, that is more than enough. If x is 2, y is 3, this is the point, x2 and y3, that is 2, 3. If x is 3, y is 2, that will be this point, so 3, 2 at this point. So all these, this is a line. Now we have to find graph for x plus y is less than 5. To check the region, that what I said before uh, discussing of this uh, lecture, that we have discussed already in uh, lecture 1, the concept of this, how to plot the graph of this. So, if uh, since x plus y is less than 5, so which region, whether this region or that region. So, to check it, put the, it will better if the curve is not passage, line is not passage through origin. So, it will better to put value 0, 0. If 0, 0 will satisfy, then it means towards the origin. If 0, 0 will not satisfy, then it means away from origin, other side of the origin. So, if I put x is equal to 0 here and y is equal to 0, then 0 plus 0 is 0. That is less than 5, which is true. So, graph to be shaded in this region. In this region, the solution will be in this region only. It is the shaded region and that will be the solution. But since x plus y is less than 5, not exactly equal to 5. So, uh, therefore, this graph must be, line must be a dotted one. You know, it cannot be a complete one because uh, this point, point do not lie on this. Lesser than this, but not on this line. So, any point lie on this line will not satisfy, but lesser than that will be satisfied. So, this will be the region and you can write the solutions like this. Now the next question is, here is another question and you can see that also. The second question is here and that is given. Second question, let me write here. Second question is here and that is given that 2x plus y is greater than equal to 6. 2x plus y is greater than equal to 6. So for this, uh, we can write to plot the graph, we can write 2x plus y is equal to 6 and therefore y is equal to 6 minus 2x. Now we have to plot the um, value graph. So how to deal with? Let us uh, insert a table and that table will be. So this table is here and this table can be placed here by using this graph. That this table will be slightly the same. Okay. So now uh, put the values there. Uh, this is x and y correspondingly. We can put the values corresponding value of x and y. If I put x is equal to 0, y is 6. 0 multiply by 2 is 0, 6. If I put x is equal to 3, then y is equal to 0. This is the two values which is required. More than that, you can put it is an arbitrary. If you put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 4. If you put x equal to 2, y is equal to 2. If you put uh, anything other values, then it will also come like, say, x is equal to 3 if I put, then 0 and 4 if I put, then it will be something minus 1, you know. So, that kind of value can be taken or not taken, it depends on our mean. So, it is minus 2. So, now plot the graph. Basic thing is how to plot the graph. So, let me discuss this, how to plot the graph. So, here uh, what I can do is take this, how to plot the graph, right. So, let us see this. This one is y axis, this is x axis, this is x dash, this is y dash, you know, and x is 0, y is 6. In graph, it is x, 0, y is 6. So, where is this point? x, 0, y is 6, say this point, 0 and 6. The x, 3, y, 0 is definitely lies here only, 3, comma, 0. And the line will be passing through. This is two points is more than enough. And on the basis of that, even you can do that. So these two points are more than enough to draw the graph of line. Right? So it must pass it through.
these two points. Right? Then. So that will pass through this point and uh, passes through three comma zero and zero comma six. Got it? So this is the point. Other points can also lie and come at this point. You can check it. You can do it. Say one, two, three. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't it? So all these are the markations, and here one and four, one and four lies here only, right? And two and two lies, two and two lies here only. So this is two and two. You know, this one is two and two. This one is one and four. Isn't it? Similarly, x is four and y minus one. So this point is four and minus one. So all these points can be marked here. But the main thing is what to do. Whether this which lies towards the origin away, away from origin. So if you put zero zero again here, so two into zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero. Zero is greater than six. That is not true. So it is not towards the origin, but it is away from origin. So graph will be set it like opposite direction. You know. So graph will be in opposite direction. That is this direction. Set it position should be in this direction, opposite direction. You know. So that will be. The way in which you can set that. I hope you got it. So this is the reason for solution of this question. Now the third question is given here. That third question is three x plus four y is less than equal to twelve. The third question is given here. That is three x plus four y is less than twelve. Less than equal to twelve. So again, you can plot the graph, and you can plot the graph for equality, right? Now. So that will be said. There will be three values which is required, not more than that. So I can choose it like this one. Say, This one is not like here. So value of this will lie between this bit. Three x plus four y is equal to twelve. You can put the value of x and y. If you put x is equal to zero, then y is equal to three. If you put y is equal to zero, then x is equal to four. So graph must pass through two, these two points. If I put x is equal to two, <coughs> uh, the, let us plot the graph. This is x axis. This is y axis. You know, x is zero, y is three, and x is four, y is zero. And if I put x is equal to um, one, then y will be what? Or x is equal to two. If I put x is equal to two, then this will be three to just six. Twelve minus six is six, and four y is equal to six. So y is one point five. So these are the three values which can be taken into consideration, and you can check it. Put the values there. So x zero y three. The graph will be like. Graph will be like passing through x zero y three and x four y zero. So graph will be passing like this, right? So because it is three, so x zero y three is this point. X four and y zero is this point. Isn't it? That will be one, two, three, four. This will be one, two, and three. So one, two, three, three zero. This is one, two, three, four. Isn't it? So four zero is point here. Three zero three is there, and x two. Then y is one point five. That will be like something here. So this is two comma one point five. Two and one point five. So that will be also lies in on this, but uh, two comma one point five. Now the thing is, 
whether it will satisfy towards the origin or not. So clearly, if you put the value of 0, 0, then it will be less than 12. So it satisfies towards the origin. So I can make it like passing through towards the origin. So it will be like this in this direction. The graph will be coming like this. So that will be the region in which they will lie. So I hope you got this and you understood this well. So this is the third question. Now there is one more question I would like to take here and this is question number four. Question number four. Okay. So how to deal with this question number four? Let me explain this. Question number four is there and four is nothing else but here. Question is question number four I am writing here. And question number 4 is y plus 8 is greater than 2x. y plus 8 is greater than 2x. Again, you can make a graph for uh, y is equal to 2x minus 8. It will come this side. And you can put the values accordingly. So, again, you should uh, make a table. And table will be. So, we can have this table and in this table even two values is more than sufficient so we can basically we have to locate the point where they lie so if i put x is equal to x and y x is equal to 0 then y is minus 8 x is equal to 0 y is minus 8 isn't it and if you put y is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 so x is 4, y is 0. So we have to plot a graph in negative region as well as positive region. So I can draw this line as like this way, you know. So this will be the line, right? Okay. Now this is y axis. This one is x dash. This side there is x axis, isn't it? This is y. This is x dash, this is y dash. Now x is 4 and y is 0. So 4, 0 is point here, something. And x, 0, y minus it. Minus it just double of it. So it is 0 minus 8 here. And 4, 0 will be there. So line must pass through this one. You know, line will pass through these two points. Line will pass through these two points. So here is the line. You know, this is the line which will pass. So I can check it like y is passes through these two points x4 y0 uh, and x0 y minus. Now whether it will uh, be set towards the origin or away from origin that is a question. So what to do? So in that case uh, here put the value uh, 0 0. If you put 0 here and 0 there also then 0 plus 8 is 8. 8 is greater than 0. That is true. So it means it is towards the origin. So it is towards the origin. Graph will be towards the origin. Right? And since it is equal to, so line will be complete. So that is why it will be written like this. Anywhere if there is no equal to sign, yes, there is an equal to sign. There is not less than sign. There is an equal to sign. So I have to put the graph in the first one except first one. So these are the questions and similarly you can solve some other questions as well. But uh, let me discuss some more questions of this chapter. That is question number 5. And what is question number 5? Question number 5 is given here x minus y. x minus y is less than equal to 2. So again we can put y is equal to y is equal to or uh, what is y? y is equal to that. We can write x minus y is equal to 2 and y is equal to x minus 2. Now we can plot the graph and for graph we can choose values like we can choose the value and uh, that will be like here only. So I can put the values of x and y. So see if it is x, it is y, x is equal to 0, y is minus 2, isn't it? And when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So in between these two, we can put value 1 also. So when x is 1, 
y is minus 1. x is 1, y is minus 1. Now we can plot the graph and graph will be like this. Because it is in negative region as well, so we have to plot a graph in which both the four, all four quadrants are there. Right now. So I can use this. And uh, this is x axis, isn't it? And this one is x dash. There is a y dash, and this is y. So here, uh, this is x axis, y, x dash, y dash. Now, x0, y minus 2. Where is this point? If this is origin x0, y minus 2, 1, and this is 2. So if I take 0 minus 2, this is the point and x2 y0 if this is 1 say 1 and then 2 is there x is 1 and therefore line will pass through this one you know so line will pass through these two points this will be the line you know this is 2 0 2 comma 0 this is 0 comma minus 2 isn't it this is minus 1 minus 2. So 0 comma minus 2. This is the point and the third point is what? Third point is 1 minus 1. So x1 and y minus 1 is this point. This is 1 and minus 1. So these three points are there. Now whether it will satisfy towards the origin or away from origin. So to do that, uh, where should I set them? Put 0, 0. 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 is less than 2 so it will be towards the origin so we can set them like this right that will be answer so this will be answer and this graph is basically because it is an equal to so we can write name the graph of this as y is equal to x minus 2 uh, this is the line but this region is x minus y is less than equal to now question number 6 is there and 2x minus 3y, 2x minus 3y is greater than 6, here it is just greater than. So again you can make this 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 and so 2x is equal to 6 plus 3y and x is equal to 6 plus 3y by 2. You can make the table and table here, what the table can be made. Let us write. Think about this. This is what. So if I have this table, then in table you can put the value of x and y as well. So if I put x is equal, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 0, x is 3. This is x and y. y 0, then x 3. And if y is minus 2, y is minus 2, then 3 minus 2, 6, this is 0. So, these are the two values. In between, you can put any one of the value. That is, if I put x, y is equal to 1 or 2 even, y is equal to 2, then what will happen? 3 to just 6 plus 6, 12, and 12 divided by 2 is what? 6. So, that will come. So, x is equal to 6, y is equal to uh, 2. That will come. So, these are some values which can be obtained. Now we can put some negative and positive values. So draw the graph for both quadrant containing both the quadrant, right? So we can use this here. What is the value and how to deal with? It. So if I write this is y axis, this one is x axis, this is x dash, this is y dash, and y has negative value as well as y zero two. So y has negative value and positive value. So x3, y0, if this is origin, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So 3, comma 0 is this point, right? Now. This is 3, comma 0 is this point. x0, y minus 2. So this is minus 1, minus 2, you know, minus 3 like this. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. So you can have the values like uh, this point somewhere lies in between and now we have to plot the graph. So x3, y0, x3, y0. So x3, y0 is this point and x0, y, y minus 2 is this point. So graph will pass through this one, right? 
graph will pass through this one. and uh, that will be here basically yes graph will pass through this and this is one and two nothing else so you can this is one x is one and y equal to three so this will be the line and now in which region they lie so if for define the region of them uh, you can have value like what is that try to understand put the zero zero if zero zero will satisfy zero minus zero is zero zero is greater than six that is not true so less than this but re remember one thing also that this graph is justify for greater than so this line is not thoroughly must be dotted line you know so this must be a dotted line and now as per this the, since it is not satisfied towards zero so it will be opposite to this opposite to this will be there the graph will be always opposite to this so i hope you got it and this will be the region which you have to set there now question number 7 so what is question number 7 so for 7 question uh, we have um, this question is like uh, 3 minus 3x the question is minus 3x plus 2y is greater than or equal to minus 6 so this can be written as again minus 3x plus 2y is equal to minus 6 so 2y is equal to this implies 2y is equal to 3x minus 6 and y is equal to therefore y is equal to 3x minus 6 by 2 right now we have to plot the graph so for plotting graph uh, we have to make table again and this table will be made from here only so this will be like a so let us now put the values x and y if you put x is equal to 0 then y is what that is 6 minus 6 divided by 2 minus 3 and if you put x is equal to 2 then 3 to just 6 minus 6 is 0 that is 0 and you can put 1 also so if you put 1 then what will happen if you put x is equal to 1 then 3 minus 6 is minus 3 divided by 2 is minus 1.5 like that so these are some values which can be um, put here so x 0 y 3 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 in fact you know that no need to write minus sign here because it is understood so this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and x 2 0 so this is 1 and this is 2 1 2 3 like that similarly this one is minus 1 minus 2 no need to write minus even but i have just written here let me write here also so this is minus 1 this is 1 2 3 4 you have to write here a scale in each and every graph write the scale that 1 square is equal to 1, one unit like that so here 0 comma 3 so x 0 y minus 3 this point isn't it that is the point 0 comma minus 3 and this point is 2 comma 0 so this is 2 and 0 so this point is 2 comma 0 the graph must pass through these two points clearly so two point is more than enough and I had plot this like this right now so this is a graph which is passing through these two point one and minus one point five x one and y minus one point five is here okay. so this is one and one point one and minus one point five this is the point so these are three points called a b c these are the points now whether they are satisfying towards origin or not so to check it put values here only in the original question if i put x is equal to 0 here this will be 0 and y is 0 0 is greater than minus 6 yes this is true 0 is any uh, 0 is greater than any negative value so 0 is greater than minus 6 that is true so it will be towards the origin so we can set them like set them like this direction okay. 
so that will be like this set them like in this direction i hope you got it right huh? so similarly you can do some other questions as well let me give some hints for other questions and that is for your homework so solve question number eight nine and ten in eighth question um, this is what 3x this is 3y given 3y it is given like 3y 3y minus 5x is less than 30 again you can make it a line which is not equal to for dotted line right here it is equal to so i have made a complete line here it was not equal to sign so dotted line so make a dotted line for what for 3x minus 5y is equal to 30 so you can make like a, here a, 3y is equal to 30 minus 5x and correspondingly you can make a table for it and uh, if you make a table for it you will get it like this right so here put the values of x and y if you put x is equal to 0 y is what x is equal to 0 then y is 10 y is 10 right and put y is equal to 0 then x is equal to if y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 6 right now. so these two values are enough to draw the graph of this and now a question but there are two more questions i am just giving hint you will be able to solve it ninth is y is less than minus 2 you know that how to plot it i have already discussed this and tenth question is there that is x is greater than minus 3 so that can be plot you know x is greater than minus 3 this is uh, already discussed in first lecture but still if you want to plot it i can plot it here x is greater than minus 3 uh, in the same graph i am plotting here that this is x axis y axis this one is x axis and this is x dash this one is y axis right and this is y dash so x is equal to minus y minus 3 is a line which will lie towards where where this line will lie this line will lie x is equal to minus 3 is something somewhere like this this will be lying right now so in separate graph you will do that this is x is equal to minus 3 and x is greater than minus 3 it means this time this will be anything similarly y is less than minus 2 so if you plot y is less than minus 2 then graph will be like graph so that's all in this lecture and uh, hopefully you have uh, learned all these things and you can do that there is no problem at all and this is an easier chapter uh, this type of questions may be asked for two months but not more than that or even one mark question can come but one mark question is now most of them are objective or in the blanks so it can be asked for two marks and uh, you just practice them but don't forget to write a scale on the top of the graph paper and always try to make on graph paper right now so till then bye bye uh, we will discuss some more questions from the next exercise in the next class till then keep watching and god bless you